What is up DTube Steam Blockchain? So today I want to talk a little bit, talk a little bit about the topic of uh, Instagram and Twitter culture shift. I want to call this video that. And basically what I mean is, so um, what I sort of think this is sort of eventually sort of seems to be moving towards observing this industry uh it, it, it seems as okay uh even though had video a long time yes but it hasn't been as powerful as it's getting these uh, these last couple of years where for example now on a smartphone even the front facing camera has 4k functionality and in a few years probably it's gonna have 8k functionality so that's really uh, that that's that that's really eventually gonna uh, push a shift towards so much more video than uh, than in the past. So Instagram and Twitter sort of culture shift. What I sort of feel it's sort of moving towards is moving towards so gossip that has been in the past been maybe something that people have been referring to as maybe bad or something like that but now it may actually if people gossip about truth that might actually be beneficial for everyone eventually uh, because if everyone knows everything about everyone that may actually be good in the long run it may actually increase people's awareness for other events in the world and sort of um, think uh, a little bit more expansive maybe taking taking more sort of information in a in a decentralized way even though uh, a lot of stuff is going to come out when people share data back and forth back and forth but in the long run probably it's uh, it's going to move uh, humans uh, to more sensible decisions and choices in life because they have better access to better data eventually that's going to be organized better eventually with machine learning and artificial intelligence and the culture shift i sort of mainly think about is this uh, sort of real time this real time access to information mega quick with twitter and instagram and when that gets combined with these high end smartphones maybe the new iphone iphone 11 pro or the Galaxy S10 Plus, when you see how good these smartphones are, uh, something that I thought about today, best way to explain it is, it's a bit as having a Ferrari and being in a, in a city with a lot of traffic. You can barely even use the engine. Like your, your smartphone, you feel that it's capable, capable of so much, but it's being held back by the current technology. So, you want basically eventually to be able to feed your smartphone the best sort of data and then it can like organize it properly and just create better amazing systems that is beneficial for everyone so what instagram and twitter is doing right now is they're, they're sort of in many ways making people become more normalized to getting instant access to information and to always have access to information and to know everything all the time and um, and and people sort of it feels like people sort of sinking into that more and more and the people eventually then that want to have more impact they move more and more and more and more and more towards video and I also think that a big thing that what ha what happens with this is the way people look at status or authority or how people like relate to other humans eventually eventually it sort of gets to that point where people become people come to some form of understanding eventually uh, a deeper understanding of what kind of experiences other people may be going through even though they may not sort of express it but maybe they saw one person having uh, like the more they perceive people having different experiences in life, the more they can sort of map out a view when they uh, when they connect with another human on the internet, and eventually people start to have people you start to have better better knowledge and better better data 
about various people's experiences of life and people come to some form of more deeper understanding of other people and uh, they can sort of feel that they have been experiencing this sort of this current phase of the internet and that they, cur they, they, they share like every era of the internet or every time period of the internet that is constantly shifting a little bit people go through more and more of these sessions uh, and and they, and and they share some kind of common experience of it that sort of makes them eventually come to sort of like a deeper understanding of other humans and uh, and it's very interesting to see sort of how intelligence can work in decentralized ways where how people have looked at information i mean gossip in the past it's mainly been stuff that people have been like you know people always been gossiping and people even gossip now on the internet and they're like exposing stuff about certain people or whatever or exposing certain ideas or talking about different ideas humans are still at this phase where they think their human thoughts are something that is like magical or something that is uh, super special so they, they're still being kind of cheap with sharing their knowledge or their thoughts there is only a few people that do it but eventually i think it's going to come to this point where people use it there with their smartphone and then they just they see other people share so much thoughts and ideas or pictures or whatever and then eventually they also start to do the same thing and then eventually they sort of start to especially because of instagram and and because of twitter eventually they come to this like they, they start to realize the more win-win aspect if they really gossip more or if they really share more stuff and if they really more try to move sink into be their their human being just try to be sensible and do what they uh are sort of best at sort of what they are interested in and kind of try to hone that in and, and try to become more skilled at it whatever now they want to do it seems as people come to it seems as people are going to sink more into that like becoming actually a human being and uh, that i think people are going to look back at this time period and they're going to see it as super weird how people thought their own thoughts was was super important and they typed it on twitter or maybe they took a photo of their food and they, they thought that was super engaging i think people are probably going to look back at that and see wow those humans were kind of strange because we are probably, or in the future, it's probably more going to be that people are going to move more towards, try to just be more interested in in other human beings, and uh, and not coming at them from such a limited knowledge position. So, for example, if you go back a couple of years, and you consider where society was in awareness, it seems like it's constantly sort of going up in many ways just because people are perceiving more information so you never really would want to go want to go back a couple of years because it's like okay smartphones would be slower machine learning would be worse artificial intelligence would be worse and people would not people would not be as as kind of into listening so much to other people because in, in just going back like maybe 10 years ago, people mainly listened to other people sort of only for entertainment, but not to try to understand stuff deeper. I mean, yeah, there was a niche of that. But if you compare like 10 years ago, it was way more probably entertainment. Now people seem to be more, more open minded for kind of curious to know about life and, 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 uh, and it seems like humans are sort of diving deeper into themselves and, and sort of trying to you know explore life further and and it seems like eventually they're going to move more to a point where they sort of want answers on different stuff <laughs> because humans eventually want an answer to to a lot of stuff because their their intelligence is probably going to bother them a lot if they don't get answers right and in the past, they had a lot of um, a lot of stories 
uh, that sort of kept them busy. But now it seems like a lot of those stories were rather fragile and, and that they're sort of all going to break down. And then they eventually, they're going to have to relook at everything again. So it's very interesting. I think Instagram and Twitter has a big part in, in the, in the, in sort of the culture shift <laughs> and, uh, and like how people just look at other human beings. I, th I think these platforms really influence a lot of things. And, um, and uh, where I think it's eventually going to go is people are just going to real time share whatever it is want to know. They don't really exactly do it right now. I mean, they share sometimes during the day, but soon there probably is going to be something out that is just going to share everything and it's going to just store it in the cloud. And then if you want to access someone's information about whatever, you will be able to sort of do it. Now you have to do still a lot of stuff manually and uh, everyone's sort of network of data and the people that they know is still sort of very, very ex exclusively focused. While people eventually are going to realize probably super much, especially with video and DTube and, and 3Speak and Steam blockchain, Avalon blockchain, they're probably eventually going to realize, wait a sec, it's way more win-win if, if it's way more inclusive, uh, everything, like the language that people speak and moving toward trying to move towards more uh, truthfulness and responsibility and the people sort of using some digital tokens so they kind of share value with everyone that is basically on the network so it's way more win-win and it's way more incentive for other people on the, on the outside to sort of try to get in and sort of try to do something more engaging you know so that's what i want to talk a little bit about today so more computing power that people eventually going to have is going to shift Twitter and Instagram more and more and more and then eventually probably a lot of those people are going to go towards more decentralized systems and, and ask more 